So what's up amazing people again here we are right from the center of Nairobi capital right we are here situation uh, situated at uh, the junction of Luthuli Avenue and Kamai Road it's been uh, long since we did a video but we want to do one more video today so remember it's your favorite shop the decibel audio Kenya we are coming right from Luthuli Avenue. So here today we have a video. We want to do a video. We're going to do it together with Alex. Alex is right over here. You remember him? So that's Alex. You also remember this guy over here is called Jay. There he is. So we want to do a video today. A very simple video. We want to show you how to connect a powered mixer with another powered mixer. You can also do a plain mixer together with another powered mixer or plain mixer if you want so the scenario is we are assuming you have two mixers and you have a limitation of channels you don't know what to do you don't know how to connect um, enough inputs probably you have less inputs but you have uh, plenty of um, equipment that you want to, to use so we are going to show you how to connect two mixers to make them work in one line all right so we are going to use uh so over here so this is a four channel mixer we're going to connect it to this big mixer called decibel audio it's a powered mixer it's a powered mixer it has 12 inputs so we are assuming probably sometimes you'll have two mixers you don't know how to connect the two mixers to work in one accord so you're going to use the small mixer you put your inputs here so let's uh, assume you have you have 16 um equipment so you have 16 microphones you have 16 uh, inputs that you want to use but you only have four on this mixer and you have 12 on this other mixer so what do you do you use this small mixer to feed the input that you want all right so for instance we have we have put music coming from our laptop right over there so we have put the signal coming from the laptop into the small mixer all right so we are going to be controlling the volume of the inputs from their specific channel so this is channel one all the way to channel number four all right so we are going to be controlling them from here the inputs then from the main output we shall send two signals all right so two signals for this mixer they are right at the back thank you alex so we have the main out which is the signal for the mixer so these are the outputs we have left and we have right so this is what you do you get the two signals out then you bring them into the main mixer you feed them to two different channels so that's channel number 12 and channel number 11 but you can do any channel as you wish all right so our preference for today is channel number 11 and channel number 12 so what's happening here whatever is happening is that if we have four channels or even more we can put all the inputs that we want here then we combine the output from the main left and the main right send it out then we bring it into the input of the main mixer all right so this is a mixing console that you're going to be using so assuming we have other microphones they'll come in from number one all the way to number 10 right over here okay so you have 16 channels from your two mixers so how does that work inputs from from wherever microphones coming in here then the signal coming out from the signal out coming into the inputs of the main mixer right so remember from outputs here we are feeding the inputs of this main mixer all right so let's see if that works so our speakers we're going to feed them from from right over here so this is a powered mixer remember we are going to feed our speakers from here so the signal for the speakers remains the same from the back of this ma ma machine going to the speakers but now we are controlling this mixer this is a slave and then now this is the the master all right so let's see how it works alex to put so we are going to start from here so alex to put uh, number one 
So that's our music, all right? We put a bit, then we put, you can put um, the main, the main left and right. You can see the signal is already coming out, all right? So we have sent the signal from the mixer. Then where is it coming to? It's coming to channel number 10. No, channel number 11 and channel number 12. So you put again the sliders up, you are increasing the volume. Then now you come to the main output, all right? So if you increase the main output for both left and right, you will be able to hear some sound. So that's the sound number one. So this is left, the other one is right. As we have taken them from the small mixer, we have sound here. So that is it. That is how you take signal from uh, if you have two mixers that's exactly how you do as simple as that out in you feed all your inputs from this one you put them into the main mixer so as simple as that where the lie where does it apply so let's say perhaps you have you have a drum set microphones all right and you want to you want to you have a small mixer or you have a small mixing console and probably you have another small one so you want to combine them and make them work as one unit you take the small unit the small mixing console feed all your drum set microphones then you only use two signals to bring the signals out from the small one to feed the big or your main mixing console so you will have saved on space using your two mixers so we call it a uh, a day we call it a day here we are still uh, remember we are at the junction of lutuli avenue and kamai road shop is called decibel audio kenya visitors you can also visit our website www.decibelaudiokenya.co.ke so from all of us it's bye bye wanga say bye bye Maina, bye bye then uh, Alex, uh, Decibel Audio and Jay there, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Then Rose finishes by saying bye-bye. bye-bye. So it's a wrap. See you in the next video. Subscribe to our channel. Yeah, subscribe to our channel. <laughs> subscribe and uh, like and comment. Subscribe, like, comment. Yeah, and share. Share. Yeah.